So it's a kind of serious theme. I just thought this would be like an interesting experiment to do because you have people who like take topics like this and they'll try and do like a picture or they'll try and write a poem or they'll try and write a short story. Um, we're gonna do it with a server of 100 people and fucking virtual Lego. I wasn't really sure what to include with the palette for this and like what we actually need. So we've kind of gone for more basic blocks. There's no wool or anything. The like fanciest things we've got is some ice and some snow. Some magma and some netherrack, as you can set that on fire. Okay, this is more- this is a bit more of a serious tone, of course, because, you know, this, this is a very real problem that's kind of affecting, you know, humanity. Um, we're just gonna see what people do and how they actually represent this. There'll probably still be humor and jokes in that, you know, people will joke about it in some capacity. But, you know, that's like- it's like laughing in the face of danger more than anything. It's not just fact- like, fucking about with Starbucks. Oh my god, this looks like a continent that's just, like, tipped over now, doesn't it? <laughs> Imagine that as like the river, and then... <laughs> oh good god. There goes the Netherlands. Into the ocean, they've capsized. The land is gradually being destroyed already. <laughs> okay. Good thing they don't have global warming in America though. <laughs> oh Jesus, could you imagine if global warming affected the entire planet? God forbid. I feel like this environment is already getting worse. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> That's one way to represent it. Oh, someone's made like a little globe. It's like an inch above the water too. I don't know if that was intended. Oh, well, there's the planet. You can see it's literally on fire. I mean, that's a metaphor if I ever saw one. Elseberg, tallest mountain in the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. People are good at building. Oh, they are. They're, 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 this isn't the first rodeo. Uh. <laughs> My immersion is ruined. The landscape is looking just more and more hellish as time goes on. It's just worrying. You mentioned climate change and that's the first consensus. We're fucked. Some people are- some people, you know... Be an optimist here, we're planting trees and that. Trying to like salvage the land a little bit, but like just look at the state of things. We need dead coral reefs. Is that even a thing? Like... Coral. Oh my god, it is. The most effective way to convince people to stop climate change, forcing Minecrafters to build it. The hope is, over time, just to get people to take it more seriously, is that it's so fucking inescapable that, like, you just have to do something. Like, it is- and, you know, like, we definitely- we should be at that point already, ideally, because, you know, it's a big deal. But it honestly is a case where, like, for an issue like this, you kind of just have to keep shoving it down people's throat until they get the message. Because there's no fucking point otherwise, and, like, we're all kind of fucked if not everyone's on board. Like, no joke, okay, like, two films I can think of. Uh, fucking Detective Pikachu. There's a joke in there about climate change. Where Ryan Reynolds says, how can people still think climate change isn't real? And even in the fucking new Aladdin remake, there's a bit where, like, Will Smith raps about it. And I think it, it's like the rest of the world might look like Agrabah soon. If we don't deal with climate change. Like, it's some line like that. Like, no joke. So it's it's reaching that kind of cultural boiling point, basically, where it's inescapable. Wait, what's this say? The tree of life and also the tree of death. Even if the world goes to hell, life finds a way. We fucking hope. I haven't even given the buckets of lava yet, and like, it's looking pretty grim. Oh my... I'm having an existential crisis right now? I mean, that kind of was the point of the art installation stream. Like, we're... Yeah, we're just representing a concept. And, t t you know, like, I, like... I, th there was no particular way people had to do this. Like, you know, if I say climate change, people could look at that and say, it's like, okay, you know, let's start erecting some wind turbines. Let's start making some solar panels on the server. Yo, well, let's go for actual, like, clean renewable energy. The immediate reaction, though, is we're fucked. Ireland declared it as a national emergency. Um, just recently. And, like, Ireland- now, uh, Ireland isn't probably, like, the most major contributor to climate change, let's face it, we're a small island nation. Uh, but it still says a lot of even little old Ireland. It's getting up in arms about this. Like, we're very small. There's not much we can do, unfortunately. We're not, like, the, you know, 
us deciding to do something isn't gonna fucking save the planet, unfortunately. This is getting depressing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I mean, everyone here is building the planet on fire, so, you know, I... I don't know how happy you can spin that. Ah, Jesus, the planet's on fire! Isn't it fucking hilarious? Like... No, no, not really. I believe your Minecraft streams helped kickstart the recent Minecraft revival. I've been getting that a lot. A lot of people were saying that even before when we were doing, like, the big group... Uh, multiplayer sessions. That, like, we were just keeping Minecraft alive for the longest while. I mean, I, I don't think that's the case, because I think it's, like, Minecraft's always been popular. People, like... I think it's more so a case that just YouTubers caught on to that like, people still like Minecraft more than anything. Because Minecraft has always been about, and Minecraft's always been increasing in popularity. More people play it now than ever, because it's actually ported to all the consoles. Like, back when it was popular on YouTube, it was only available, really, on PC. Uh, now it's on every console, and, you know, most people playing video games probably aren't on PC. They're on, like, PS4 and Xbox, like, split between them. You even fucking play it on your 3DS now, if you're so inclined. Is this a UFO? We just, we just hope when we get abducted and we get to live in a different planet, and that's gonna get us out of this scenario, because it's looking pretty grim down there. I'm gonna go before I get a panic attack. <laughs> okay, this- th there was a house being constructed here, it has since been burnt down and flooded. Lovely. <laughs> Can we all just be like Norway and Sweden? Where they like, recycle fucking everything? And like, they're hitting literally every renewable target for like 20, 30, 11 years in advance and like, a bunch of ridiculous shit like that. <laughs> we just need to copy them. Like, Sweden or Norway, I'm, I'm not picky. Can you just, like, invade the rest of the fucking planet? Rich Dog, thanks for 100 bits. Hey, RT, thanks so much for the impended dread that my nation is doing basically nothing to solve this and we are actually going in the wrong direction. Go America. <laughs> no problem, Mitch Dog. Happy I could supply the existential crisis. Don't worry, I, I, think, I think we're on the right path when, you know, we're rebranding coal as freedom fuel. Um... Uh. Well, that's, that's, that's gonna save the fucking planet. Jaded, thanks for 100. If everyone in the world just opens their refrigerators, climate change will be solved. <laughs> yeah, I think the refrigerators are using more, though. <laughs> I, I think that's gonna cost us more in the long run. I just think it's sad that, like, there are people... Because here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Even consider it this way. Even if you don't fucking care about climate change, right? Hear me out for a moment. This is a bit of a step. Surely, you care about the fucking planet. And where we live. So even if you don't call it climate change, surely, you have an invested interest in, like, preserving the fucking planet. Surely, you'll want to recycle shit. Surely, you don't just want, like, that cut down every forest and have it be a barren wasteland. For fuck's sake, surely, because people seem to be rolling with that in chat now. It's like I'm talking to one person who can't get their shit together. Fucking surely doesn't believe in it. I, that, I, that's, uh, yo, that is going out in a stretch because you should, you should believe in climate change. You, you, you outright should. But surely even if you don't believe in that, you should care about the planet as the next step. I don't know how the highlights for this one are gonna look. Like, it's just, we're just kind of, this is the direction people have taken it in, you know? It is, this is like a proper art installation one, and I knew going into this stream, this one may not be as funny as some of the other uh, build day premises we've gone. Oh, the Netherlands flooded too. Yeah, it's kind of hard to just appreciate them when, you know, the Netherlands sunk. Oh wait, okay, this is, <laughs> A slightly lighter note, Tim gives a hundred bits and says, I just want to get a statue of Magnus drowning under the rising sea levels, so at least we can get a little positivity out of this. Now, Magnus is a climate change denier from Minecraft story mode, I'm calling that there. I wouldn't be surprised. Irish YouTuber single-handedly saves the planet. Hi again, on the note of excess renewable energy, my home state of Oregon actually sold excess wind energy to neighboring states because we have some massive wind farms in the eastern parts of our state. That's really good to hear. In an ideal world, you know, that's like, well, that's the industry you're trying to get into. Because Jesus, that's hella profitable, you know? You just set up the infrastructure and it kind of funds itself forever. You know? Like, you'd be <laughs> making bank 
return an investment after a certain while. You don't have to worry about product running out. And there's always demand for, you know, fucking energy. Number one Minecraft stream. Great. <laughs> oh, Jesus, someone's playing that Lego game on Twitch.tv. I wonder how it's going. Climate change. We're talking about wind energy and, like, clean, renewable energy. We have, like, a traditional windmill. There's some baker here who's going to be baking some bread. And resting easy at night, knowing it's environmentally friendly. <laughs> I think we might need a few more of those if we're the power of the fucking planet, but... Baby steps. If all else fails, take to the skies. Jesus. Okay, we just gotta abandon the old world. Build a tear up. Okay, boys, about to head out to Mars. <laughs> America. <laughs> oh god, and there's more pipes too. The factory island is just getting worse over time. That actually is a meteor too. Oh god, and yeah, this is all started to go underwater too. Oh, that's a tornado. Okay, yeah, because water patterns get more and more unpredictable and getting worse. Uh... I mean, this is just a plane dropping a bomb on us. I... <laughs> Climate change. Here's a nuke we're dropping on our planet. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? I do just love at this point you could rename the build stream post-apocalyptic build and nobody could probably tell the difference. <laughs> The theme for this build could have just been country roads. Here's a house on fire, but it's okay, because this ice cap seems to have melted and is going to douse it, the flames. Oh, here's, yeah, here's the dead Great Barrier Reef. Oh, it's depressing as shit, isn't it? 